Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for a, another video on how we can help you with NetSuite. Today we're going to be talking about creating a custom form. NetSuite provides default standard forms that are layered on top of transactions. If you want to change the configuration of the transaction fields or layout, you would do that by customizing the form. There are different sections within the form customization screen. First, we will focus our attention on the header levels, and then we will move on to the forms line level, or also called column fields. On the header level, you can define the PDF, email, or HTML layouts that can be utilized for printing or emailing transactions. Moving down to the bottom area of your screen, you can define the tabs that will be visible on the transaction. The tabs are just groupings or fields. If you don't want to see certain tabs, you can check or uncheck the boxes right here. Screen fields tabs are in the area where you would define and arrange fields that appear on the body level of the transaction. Notice that you show or high fields by checking the boxes under the show column. You can also make fields mandatory right here. You will also be able to define the display type by choosing normal, inline text, or disabled. Note that when you disable the field, the user will not be able to make edits. You can change the name of the field should you choose to not utilize the standard label. Through the field group column, you can define where on the header level the field will be displayed. When you add a new field to the form, it often appears at the bottom of the list. What you will need to do is move it to the appropriate field group. Next, I will show you how to adjust the line level fields. The line level or column fields are located under the sublist fields tab on the screen. You will notice that some columns are not showing because the show checklist box is unchecked. By moving the rows, you ultimately are rearranging the columns on the forms. Lastly, what we will do is give our form an appropriate name and create a clean ID. Mark your form preferred, and this will make your form default for the transaction type. When you're ready, click Save. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at alphabold.com.